So I promised you a video for today and I got caught up with so many things. Some stuff was just like, whoa, today. Anyway, I promised you that I was gonna do a video of me wearing tights. So that's what I'm gonna do. And, but before I get into that, I'm gonna show you how, how to wear them, how some guys tend to wear them, and then give you what my perspective is on it, and how, you know, my take and how I prefer. I decided to add a little music here. I'm hoping it's not too interrupting. If it is, I might redo the video. But, and then I got somebody send me a, contacted me on a message, and they asked if I would do something about roadblocks or, you know, how to overcome some challenges, what have you. I mean, it's a big subject, right? But we all have them. I certainly have them. I've been having them. <laughs> and here's what happens, guys. When you have goals, you're not, it's not linear. It doesn't, you don't go straight up. You know, usually you'll go like this, you'll go down a little bit, you go up a little bit, you go down a little bit. You might take three steps forward, maybe two steps back sometimes. And, but you got, what, what happens is you gotta kinda keep yourself, do everything you can to keep yourself moving. And so what I do is I just move on to something else. And I'll often say to, to someone, like a client or what have you, I said, look, it was like, like this with that. So I decided, you know what, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna do something else. And sometimes you just need a little inspiration. Like just getting outside can be a huge shift. Physiological, mental, emotional. It certainly fights depression. Vitamin C, vitamin D, it energizes the body, it keeps you awake. It brings, you know, the happy drug inside your body back up. So you feel fantastic. Even just moving and walking, right? So as Tony Robbins would say, you gotta change your physiology. And, you know, that's as far as I'm gonna go with that for now. But please, guys, if you ever feel like you want me to, you know, gear my messages in a certain way, just tell me. Because I wouldn't be saying that right now if I didn't have one of my followers, the people who follow one of my blogs, and I know he does, ask me that question. So I decided to just throw a little something in there. I want to know from you guys. This is how I want to change and adjust my videos. So, otherwise I'll pick things randomly, of course, and you get to tell me if you like it, you know, right? Like the music. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, um, that's it. I'm, I think it's day seven now. So that means I have like another 93 days that I'm promising to come at you with like really cool videos, all right? And hopefully I'll get like somebody in here um, where I could do a collaboration with somebody. I already put the word out on two, three, with two or three people and I'm waiting to see what happens, right? So, um, so I'm gonna share this with you. A lot of guys wear tights. All right, so here I am with my tights, right? And this is the way a lot of guys tend to wear their tights. They'll put them on, and then they'll throw a pair of shorts on, right? And I'm like, okay. Personally, I think it's like, yuck. <laughs> yuck. Personally, I think it's yuck. <laughs> Although sometimes the shorts are shorter and they're kind of okay, but look, it cuts everything off. Doesn't make sense to me. You know, I think it's just a cheap cop-out for guys. They're afraid to be sexy. We have bulges, what the hell? Am I telling women not to show their tits? No, I don't think it's right. But you know, we have bulges, right? We have crotches. So, you know, it's gonna show something. You know, guys are afraid that if they get too close to each other, they're gonna get a little bulge like that. And all of a sudden, they're gonna be gay. Everybody's gonna know, because you're gonna see a little weenie get a little heart. <laughs> Come on, most guys are small weenies, okay? So, except for those guys, of course, the well and dog ones, which we all love. You know, I'm in that category, I'm happy to say. But anyway, so the other option is that whatever is you're wearing, see, I'll show you these. Whatever is you're wearing, you can wear the support pants underneath. And I'll show you right now, like that. Okay, you see, right there. 
So instead of wearing them on top of the tights, you just wear them underneath. And you have to get the really long ones, or at least up to here, but sort of like the, the ones that are form-fitting, so they don't bunch up. You can't get the loose ones, because then it'll be a problem, see? Give you my view right there. <laughs> a view of me. Okay, right there. So you wear them underneath the tights, and it kind of holds your package nice, and so it's not dangling everywhere. What I've seen some guys do is they'll just like, they'll put the tights on with no underwear. And you definitely don't want to do that because then everything's just kind of like, you know. And that's when you might get hard, you know, whatever. But here, it just gives you support, the right support that you need. And you put them on. Nice. Okay. And I also said that I was going to adjust myself here. Keep myself, uh, keep the, keep myself with the, YouTube uh, regulations here. <laughs> so I did say that I was going to do push-ups. And the reason for that is because back in November, October, I did 22 push-ups for the 22-day push-up challenge. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen it. So I do. I, I did 22 live Facebook live um, push-ups. I did it for 22 days in a row. I decided that people loved it so much, so I was gonna do that here on my channel. If you guys love this, tell me, and I'll do some more videos of me and tights, okay? And I'm gonna bring it down here so that we can really see. <laughs> Have a little fun here, right, guys? All right, got my music right over there. So you can see me, right? Cool. Hi guys, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do 22 push-ups just for the hell of it. Because why? Because we can. Right? Here we go. You can count with me. Twenty-one and twenty-two. Oh yeah! What do you think, guys? You like that? You gotta give me a thumbs up, man. Subscribe. Give me a follow. <laughs> tell me that you like it, guys. I tell you what. Every one of you makes a difference. I had one guy hit me up on a blog today. I'll mention it because it's so like, it made my whole afternoon, my whole evening. And I, you know what? That's actually part of what prompted me to just say, you know what, do your video. I've had a few defeats today. And, um, but it's personal, it's not personal stuff. Actually, it's all business stuff. But you know, like I was saying before, you're gonna reach for some goals. You're gonna have some setbacks, especially on online. You're gonna have some things not go your way. They're not, they don't go your way 100%. I put some ads out there and looking for help, assistance and stuff. And it took a couple of days before I started seeing things happening and sometimes you gotta change things. You know, you might not be saying the right words, your copy is not so good. You change it, you adjust it. But you can't get down to yourself. If that happens, you reach out to a friend. And that's why I'm creating this channel and that's why I'm gonna do a bunch of other things to kind of get myself out there. I'm going to offer myself to you guys and uh, to be there in the form of a chat, a video like this, maybe even a live feed. So give me a follow. Give me a thumbs up on my channel, guys, all right? Tell your friends. Subscribe. Look, I'm not Mr. Olympia, but I do the best I can. And in the end, that's all we can do. Each one of us, just do the best you can. And for me, it's about being the best I can. I don't settle for mediocrity and you shouldn't either. Peace, love, thank you guys.